We're at a very wet and windy Cheltenham Festival where of course racing is key but fashion plays a key role also. So we're going to take a look at the must-have fashions and since the weather's like this we're going to head indoors to the shopping village. So I'm here with Carol Waterman. Hi Carol. Hiya. Is this your first time at Cheltenham? No, good grief no, I've been coming here for decades. And are you here all week? I'm here uh, Tuesday, Friday. Excellent. And talk me through your outfit this morning. Well, the outfit underneath all of this is quite well put together. But then the rain came down and I landed in the car park and I thought, oh, I've got, have I got a hat? No, there's one on the back seat. So that was the one on the back seat. And then this was chucked in the boot as well. So this is not actually how it should look. It looks wonderful. <laughs> Are you warm? I am warm and I'm dry. So we're at the Dubarry store, and Dubarry is very synonymous with Cheltenham, would you say? Yes, it's our 19th year at the uh, Cheltenham Races, yeah. And I guess these are selling like hotcakes in this weather, the boot. Um, when we woke up this morning, we were, like, we were very lucky, and uh, we bought a lot more wellies in than we would have done uh, on a normal um, uh, race weekend. But um, it, uh, it, is, it is the perfect item for walking around, and we do these little... Um, uh, these jobber boots, which are also Gore-Tex lined as well, so lots of people are finding them uh, great today too. Love the yellow, you look fantastic, bit of sunshine <laughs> in this miserable day. Shining. Is it keeping you warm? Yes. And is and it dry? <laughs> is it your first time at Cheltenham? No. Third. Third. Yeah. Sorry, the accent maybe. <laughs> and what's your must-have fashion tip to come to the races here? Well, the hat and the clothes, everything, shoes, <laughs> I think it's everything. You look fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> We're here at the Holland Cooper stand, so how's trading today? Trading is already so busy, which is great. I think the flip side of it being rainy is everybody's coming inside, everyone wants something warm, so yeah, we're very happy so far. And what would you say is the must-have fashion accessory at Cheltenham? I think you need to be warm and you need to be practical, but you also want to look fashionable and chic. So uh, this year we're really promoting our full-length trench coats, our double-breasted coats that you can wear with skinnies, roll necks, you can still be warm but feel great and fashionable at the same time. So what was your decision this morning when you got dressed? Uh, well, it's pouring down, so hat obviously, and then boots which are waterproof, that was the main thing. Um, otherwise, I don't know really, um, polo outfit. <laughs> you're very brave wearing white trousers in this weather. I know, but you know, you've got to be pretty brave to come on a day like this. And is tweed a must-have? At Cheltenham? Absolutely, you've got to. <laughs> Hi, talk me through your outfit for today, dressing in this weather. I think you go for warmth, basically. Um, I mean, I've got a jumper on, a shirt on, a t-shirt underneath, and I've now got this gilet to keep, to keep me warm, because it's going to be cold out there. It is, and is a must-have fashion accessory a hat? Oh, definitely, a Trilby's classic for Cheltenham. Always wanted one, they suit me well, and I thought, why not buy one when it's going to be raining all week? We're here at the Racing Post book stand and here's Henrietta Knight, how are you? Very good, thank you. And this feature is about fashion, so could you talk me through fashion at Cheltenham? Well there's a lot of variety and especially today when it's so wet because um, people are dressed in all their warmest and most protective clothing they can find. It's lashing down out there. Mm. And what would you say is the must-have fashion piece at Cheltenham? Um, I think the boots are very much in fashion again this time. When it's lovely dry weather here, people wear quite high heel shoes, but they're all in boots today. And uh, I think hats are obviously essential because otherwise they're going to be some very, very bedraggled heads. So what's the most popular tie? Well, for here, Cheltenham, it's got to be the racing ones. All of these ones with the colours on and the racehorses, they just do sell very, very well. But we just uh, have to put up a little sign saying they're children's tyres because the amount of men that come in and want to buy them and they're just like feet too short for them. They look rather silly, but they just do sell quite well. It's quite a nice little present to take home. It is, they're wonderful. And the flat caps must be doing well today in this weather. Absolutely. I mean, they're traditional flat caps. They're made up in Yorkshire and they're just a great little thing. Again, a nice little present to take home. Now there are some race goers braving these conditions. So we're going to have a look at how they dress for this weather. 
and bumped into these lovely ladies all in ponchos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bin liners. <laughs> but it's awful. <laughs> but it's not stopping your fun here today. Oh, no, no, absolutely no. not. This is just day one. So how do you dress for such weather as this? Uh, um, layers. Thermals, yeah, layers. And a hot toddy. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So this weather isn't stopping you today? No, it nearly did, but uh, we made it, which is good, which is good. Heading inside to the bar because it's far too wet. And thank you very much. And was this outfit planned all week? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I got it from Sarah Main's hats, Ted Baker. <laughs> Caramel and that sort of thing. So, and yeah. you haven't got an umbrella, that's very brave. No, I've got a hat, it's fine. <laughs>